I tell you what, uh, they got some great pitching last night. And they hope that that continues through the second half of ACC play. It's not that bad. Into the shifts, and he beats it anyways. It looked like that ball just snuck under the glove of Tommy White. It's so tough to do both at that level, and so they need his bat, and he provides a hit down the left field line. Gold will have to stop at third, but it's a two-out double for Vetrano. Game streak snapped on Tuesday, but he did have a hit yesterday. Tommy White makes the play, inning over. So a couple of two-out hits, but nothing doing. Jarrett. As Brown is down on strikes. Good start for Henry Leak. Darlin. Boy, he was choked up, but it doesn't matter there as Henry Leak strikes him out as well. A little better, the talent's a little better. And another changeup. Henry Leak with a dominant first inning. Hysterical. Tough play on the short hop, and Rafe Shaw Metz going to reach here on an infield single. And that's why we highlighted Tommy White right at the uh, start of the innings. More? Well, entering today. That's a base hit. Roach smacks it into right field. Shawmet's going to be able to go first to third easily. And it'll only be a single for Roach as he fell down rounding first. Or else I think he probably stretches that into two. He might have. Able to get it on the high hop this time. And that'll score the run. So Boston College... Just like last night, they strike first. It's a productive out. That hit him. So he got ahead 0-2. And, and now we'll have to contend with Cameron Leary after hitting Honeyman with gap. Might score two. And this is the kind of inning that has plagued Matt Willardson this year. Oh, it's short. Jared on the shortstop side of second base. Popped him up. In the infields. BC threatens for a whole lot more, but an unearned run. Like a thousand. So if you lay it down like this, well, well, that was good. That's, uh, to me, that, what the defense gives you. If uh, if I'm Boston College, I'm screaming at uh, Henry Leak. Why did you pick that up? Oh, wow, a tough hop for McNulty. Yeah, that's that's a base hit because that took a bad hop. That took a bad hop over his shoulder. Got a pair of base runners on today. And Cozart goes down on three pitches. Throw down to first, will end the inning. Error, they took, the, but they changed the, the green infield. They changed it to an infield hit. Now that's going to be an error on Tommy White, but I think it should be an error on LeJames Groover. An error and a walk. And Roach squares to Bunce, and he's hit. And that's how an error at the start of the inning, you yep. can start to see it spiraling. Sean Moisey in the BC dugout right now. That's not a double play ball. Hood will get no one. And an error might score a second, and it will. So the weak part of NC State's team this year defensively that has cost them. The Bunts plays at home. Got the out at home. And Coach Gambino will challenge. Certainly the ball beat him there. Did Roach get under the tag? I, it's close. I think we'll have to see a couple of replays, but I think the tag was applied on the backside in time. No, no. Uh, I actually think that uh, that might be a good challenge. See if we can see it, but it's gotta be clear. It's gotta be obvious. I think when it's all said and done, that might be obvious. So what happened yesterday was that Boston College didn't get enough out of their opportunities. Slow roller. And more trouble defensively. All the way from first. Leary scores. 
And that's a case where t when, when Tommy White double clutches in his glove, he has no play, so he has to eat it and don't make two mistakes on the same play. So he double clutches here, and as soon as he does that, he has no play. And then the throws low. Nine batters come to the plate. Five plus innings, two. Boy, Josh Hood this time will not be robbed by the pitcher on a hard hit ball up the middle. It's a game of inches, right? Back to back hits as Jarrett stings the line drive into left. So the pack with something brewing here. They've been waiting all day. That's another base hit. And this will be extra bases for Green, and NC State scores its first run of the game. Is that the third straight game with an extra base hit for Peyton Green? He had a bat, triples in two straight games. And that run scoring double breaks the seal. Now the Wolfpack have two runners in scoring position. We'll see Chase Nixon pinch hit for Jacob Cozart. Wondering if Boston College's bullpen is active again. How relieved is this NC? Yeah. Nixon tees it off right at Shawmet. That's going to allow Jarrett to tag. So a sack fly by the pinch hitter. A productive out. You would not have expected. But Tongini, the inning that Tongini is having right now is unfortunately the kind of inning that BC fans have seen far too often this year. Groover in the left, and that's down for a hit. He drives in Peyton Green. It's a 20-game hit streak, <laughs> but more importantly, it'll bring the tying run to the plate. That'll be a productive out. Brown will tag up. And it's a four-run seventh inning on the sack fly from Tommy White. <laughs> Off the end of the bat. Trouble. This little flare is going to drop. It's a one-run game. And Adam, when you're hot, you're hot. And Soul stays hot. I'm sure of those 17 hits in his last eight games, they were not all scorched. There has to be a couple of those sprinkled in there. Now the tying runs 90 feet away. And the, the shame for Ryan is that he was ahead in the count 0-2. I'm sure he had it there, too. Got Ate him. him. He wore it. Tie game. Schroeder gets the strikeout to end the inning, and the game stays tied. McNulty, another opportunity. And we will head to extra innings. We've reached the bottom of the ninth. The Seahawks with three more outs to get. It'll be Cozart and then the top of the order coming up for State. He homered on Sunday. Baltimore chop. It'll score at least one. Brown gets the stop sign at third. It's a one-run game. Palali deep to right center field. This will tie the game as Brown tags home the score. Groover moves up to third with one out. Gave him the green light. Is it deep enough in the center? Groover's going to tag. 
the throw. Ball game! Gino Groover slides in safe. Suggs couldn't hold on to it. Josh Hood in the Wolfpack with the three run bottom of the ninth to win it. We've reached the bottom of the ninth, tied in Raleigh. In the air, deep right field it goes. And the Soul Strand is running down the tracks. NC State wins it, the walk-off Wolfpack do it again. Because they're, they're probably going to have to for a few innings anyway. Sixth strikeout for Villeman. Gave up just three runs. And Villeman is absolutely dealing right now. But think about the start from Mancini. They lose that ball game. And I could have, I would have made the play. Eight strikeouts for Chris Villeman in three innings of relief. And if, now if, if NC State doesn't score here. It hit him. And now hold on a second. Third base umpire Jeff Gosney is coming over because Coach Gambino, I think, is claiming that maybe that should be a strike. They're going to review it. Oh, they called him out. Wow. They called him out. And Elliot Avent is not going to be happy about that. One for a dangerous power hitter. And he walked him. Got him with a changeup. Unbelievable stuff from Chris Villeman. Four shutout innings. Ball club. The payoff. And they had him played perfectly. The throw is off the line. Now, Vitrano's going to try to tag Devontae Brown here of the season. Ground ball deep in the hole. McNulty with a diving stop, and he throws it into right field. Brown's going to come to third, and he'll stop there. Smart play, smart base running. No need with nobody out to try to force the issue. But... Nobody's covering first. Wow, what a what a mental breakdown that was. Got him swinging. Evan Moore strikes out Dominic Palali with a nasty changeup. Vetrano gets the out at home. It's a nice play. That ball was hit hard. Petrano has to make the play on the backhand. McNulty it short on the high hop. Yeah! NC State walks off for its third time in a row. And the BC defense with three errors in the 11th inning. Wow. NC State comes from 6 nothing down to win. Three errors in the bottom of the 11th. That's a ball that Vitrano probably needs to dig out. Throw wasn't great. It's going to be an error on McNulty, the shortstop. But it's probably a ball that the first baseman needs to dig out.